which atom has the lowest electronegativity is actually a complicated question, but to be completely honest, 99% of you who are watching this video are probably in high school, maybe first year university chemistry, and they're teaching you that fluorine has the highest electronegativity, and the periodic trend is that it increases as you go up or to the right on the periodic table. So the correct answer for you to give is francium, the atom that is in the bottom left of the periodic table, furthest away from fluorine, okay? The answer your teacher is probably looking for is francium. Here's where it breaks down. Francium is an insanely rare element. It's the second rarest naturally occurring element on the entire table. We've never been able to get a chunk of francium formed ever. I think they've gotten clusters of 300,000 300, atoms or something. And uh, we've gotten just enough of it to figure out that it actually bucks the trend for ionization energy. And according to Wikipedia and a few other papers that I looked at, the actual answer to this question is that cesium has the lowest electronegativity. It's 0 0.79. And we don't know what the electronegativity of francium is going to be, but we guess that it's going to be more than 0.79, just because of where its ionization energy is relative to cesium. Again, that is a guess that scientists are currently making. It's 2023. So, let me reiterate that. <clears throat> if you're being asked what atom has the lowest electronegativity, you're probably being asked for the answer of francium. Even though we've never measured it, we're taking a guess, and that guess is probably, um, you know, the guess that we're taking actually is higher than it is for cesium. So, if francium is a choice that you're being given, choose that one. Um, if you chose cesium on a test and your teacher marked you wrong and said it was francium instead, go to Wikipedia, bring that article up, and prove to them that they're wrong, probably, and uh, just remember that in general, when it comes to electronegativity, in the real world, you have a chart that you can look at and figure out the exact differences between the atoms. You're really being asked just about the trend here. The trend is that fluorine is highest and then stuff in the bottom left is generally lowest. Cool? Great. I wanna give a special shout out to some of these noble gases. You've probably been taught that noble gases don't react with stuff, but we can force them to react within high energy gas phase environments. So we actually do have measured electronegativities for some of these noble gases, you know, the lower ones, they actually end up being relatively high, you know, two, two point something, etc. So don't bother giving those as answers either. Some of them do have measured electronegativities and are higher than you might expect. All right, well, thanks for being with me and best of luck.